Welcome to a Pub Sports Radio NHL Play of the Day for Friday, September the 4th. I'm Ian Cameron. Two words, Game 7. There's no two better words in sports, especially hockey, than that. It doesn't get much better. I mean, hockey in the playoffs, we know, is a tense, dramatic, thrilling, exciting sport. Then you add a Game 7 into the mix, and then you've got something really, really special. And we have a, to be honest, a rather unexpected Game 7 here with the Vancouver Canucks and the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas was up 3-1 in this series, but the Thatcher Demko show has wounded these Golden Knights uh, over the last two games and has helped bring Vancouver to a Game 7 in this series. Vegas minus 220 favorites, total 6 here for Game number 7. Um, this is a fascinating game to break down because from a momentum standpoint, Vancouver has clearly got it going into Game 7, and they've got it because they've played outstanding team defense. Now, they have given up a lot of shots the last two games, but not all those shots resulted in quality scoring chances for Vegas. I think we know Demko has been good, really good in net for the Canucks, but their team defense in front of them has also been very, very solid, and you got to give them credit. You know, they've neutralized Mark Stone. They've shut down William Carlson. Jonathan Marcheseau, I think, has now gone five points without even a single point. And that, for him, is very rare. And to be honest with you, that can't happen if you're Vegas. Their top players have been blanketed by the Canucks in the last couple of games. Here's the thing with Demko, though, and this Canuck defense. We've seen this before. When they're on a back-to-back, -back, and this is back-to-back, -back, they played Game 6 last night, Vancouver with the 4 nothing shutout win to force this Game 7. But on a back-to-back -back situation this year, especially in these playoffs, the Vancouver defense has fallen off. They've not played as well. De and Demko, for the first time, is now playing back-to-back -back nights. How is he going to react to that? Can he still maintain that high level of performance in net that we've seen from him the last two games? in this kind of situation. You know, he's not used to the, to come right back, play the very next night uh, and play many situations where he's playing back to back. So how does he handle that? Uh, Vancouver to me on the other side, who does Vegas go with in net for them? You know, Robin Leonard's been the guy that Peter DeBoer, the head coach of the Golden Knights is committed to as a starting goalie, but now he's lost two in a row. Do you change goalies for game seven to try to get the momentum back? And maybe you go back to Mark Andre Fleury, beloved player on this team the players love him his teammates love him i could see that happening in fact i would i would be surprised if it isn't mark andre fleury uh, in net tonight for the vegas golden knights i would think he's in and it, it, obviously we know he's capable big big time goalie in the past he's had a great run with the vegas golden knights got him of course to the stanley cup final first year uh, in existence of this franchise but he still hasn't played all that much and even in his first start gave up three goals. Vegas won 5-3. The game went over the total and and Fleury wasn't, you know, a brick wall in net. You know, he he was he gave up a, a couple of goals, one for sure he could have stopped. He, you know, he's very capable of course of playing uh, lights out and, and stealing a game, but he hasn't played a whole lot of hockey the last couple months. So, I think Vancouver will score. I think with Vancouver's track record in the playoffs on a back-to-back struggling a little bit more defensively i think this could be a night where we finally get vegas to break out offensively maybe it's not going to happen there's there's a chance it might not happen maybe demko's just in their heads and vancouver's just you know making it so difficult to get pucks toward the net and rebounds they're not getting at any rebounds in front of the net there's no second chances or third chances for vegas that's been their issue as well the last two games, and that's going to have to change here in Game 7. I just think we're due for an offensive explosion here. I like the total more than anything in this game. I'm going to go over 6 plus 100. There's actually some five and a halfs out there, but I do believe 6 is the prevailing number, so I'm going to use the 6 instead uh, as the uh, official number for this play of the day. Smaller lean to Vancouver, though, as well, at plus 186. I mean, that price with a team with all the momentum, is not a team I'm going against. So I do have a small lead. Just the value to me is more toward Vancouver here than it is Vegas, but I like the total a little bit more. Let's go with Vegas, or let's go with Vancouver, Vegas, over six, plus 100 in game seven. Should be a great game. Looking forward to it. That's my Pub Sports Radio NHL play of the day for Friday, September 4th. I'm Ian Cameron. Reminder to check out pubsportsradio.com every day. 
great sports uh, content and other content. There's, uh, you know, other subjects that are talked about as well with the shows and the content on pubsportsradio.com. So make sure you check all of those out. Enjoy the Game 7s on Friday and good luck. And I'll be back with you tomorrow on Saturday for another Pub Sports Radio NHL Play of the Day.